So there's this famous thought experiment in the field of quantum mechanics called Schrodinger's cat. And it changed the way that we look at the universe. So there's this group of people outside the field of quantum mechanics, and they interpreted the findings of this study to something a bit different. They said that your consciousness is what causes reality to manifest itself. It was a fascinating analogy that discusses the thought experiment of Schrodinger's cat in a very interesting way. Reality is like a block of wood and your face is actually inside that block of wood. And if people question it, you simply grab a chisel, sculpt the wood and woodwork it in such a way that your face will eventually be revealed. It's because of the way that you observed reality that gave you the result that you found. The creation of that face in the wood was simply just from something in your brain. It existed out of your mind, just from creative thought. So is there something to visualization? Is there something real about manifestation? What does the science say? And is there any interesting research that suggests that it's one way or the other? A lot of the research on manifestation and visualization is around physical activity or exercise. There was one study that found that you can increase your muscle strength by up to 36% if you literally just imagine yourself working out. How crazy is that? That's like insane. You can just sit there in a seat, think about yourself getting more fit and exercising, moving weights around, challenging your muscles, and you can increase their strength by up to 36%. This has been shown to actually be real. So if we think of things like the law of attraction, well, what does some of the research say about that? What's interesting is that there's actually evidence that shows that people who believe in the law of attraction are actually more likely to be bankrupt. But at the same time, we have this study where people can just think themselves into being stronger. The key takeaway here is that yes, visualization and manifestation actually work, but there's a huge, huge caveat that you have to consider. None of this works unless you actually imagine it working on something inside of you. You can't manifest something outside of you that you have no direct impact over just by your thoughts alone. So if you envision a giant house, if you envision a super fast boat or tons of people coming up to you and praising you for being the most brilliant, amazing, incredible person in the world, a lot of the science shows that that's not really going to do anything for you, but where it will make drastic massive positive change in your life is if you do visualization and manifestation exercises where you are the target you are imagining things about yourself and how you can change attributes within yourself like your motivation your discipline the way in which you see the world around you that's what will then result in positive change for the future so you think of things like placebo and nocebo we have countless research studies out there that show that placebos and nocebos are very, very real. You can give someone a pill and say, hey, this is going to have such and such effect on you. This is going to have no effect on you. And based on the situation around you, based on the environment, the way things were presented to you, this will literally change the way that your body reacts to the pill. This is crazy. My sister went to the dentist and she had this really intensive surgery and they actually gave her this drug that was supposed to be super, super strong and knock her out. But because she was so worked up about the surgery and was so keen on the drugs not actually working the way that they were supposed to, her body literally just made it not happen. I don't know how else to explain it. That The dentist was shocked looking down at my sister saying, you're supposed to be asleep right now and this just isn't working so it's crazy the power that the mind has over the body but again this has to deal with you yourself what you're able to edit alter and shift so when you manifest when you visualize things it's most effective if you shift that lens and point it at yourself rather than external things out here in the world that you may not have direct control over every single moment Everyone has setbacks and gets hit hard with life sometimes. 
it's how you react to those situations and take action after those events that makes all the difference in the world in the very beginning of my career i remember struggling so much because nobody would give me a job i was going through school and i was super passionate about psychology and business and i would apply to so many places saying hey look at me look how passionate i am i'm going to school surely i'll get a job it didn't work like that <laughs> i got constant rejection i was not even looked at by most people and even when i did get responses back it would just kind of be like oh you need more experience we're looking for someone with more experience and be like well this is an entry-level internship or this is a bare bones entry-level job I, it's entry level what do you want me to do i need experience to get experience so how does any of this work it was so frustrating so i kept dealing with that while i was going to school while i was researching the field of industrial organizational psychology and was just so frustrated so instead of sitting back and just thinking oh all these people are going to come to me and give me jobs and i'm going to be so wealthy and all these things are just going to work out because i just am thinking about it i sat there and i really started to visualize and in a sense manifest the idea of okay well i should work even harder to further my skills, I should do more research, I should take further action, and what's something I can do that is much more in my control. And what I did is I actually went to mom and pop shops, local businesses, friends' businesses, and I said, hey, I'll consult for you for free, no strings attached. All you have to do is let me use this stuff in my textbooks to try and help you in your business. Help build out interviews, help improve leadership, teach people about engagement and motivation at work, how to improve workplace culture, all of this stuff that I was reading about and hearing about that no one in a professional setting would give me a chance for. So as soon as I started shifting the ways I was looking at it and looking at myself, this eventually led to me getting those internships, better consulting jobs, really cool jobs in companies that were overseas and landing really interesting roles in Fortune 500 companies. This helped me so, so much. It all happened because I was manifesting or visualizing all of this through the lens of myself, not the outside world and things that I can't control. So I hope all of that makes sense. I hope this is a helpful way to reposition the ways in which you look at all of this because there's so much pseudoscience out there. There's so much stuff that just doesn't make sense or it's not backed by real science or we just don't have enough information to properly make good recommendations off of it. But based on what we know today, based on where all the sciences and literature that we have access to, these are some recommendations that we can confidently make. So in summary, after all of that, basically just think about yourself when you're visualizing. What can you change to be a better person? What can you work on within yourself to become more motivated, harder working? How can you change the way that you look at setbacks and failures to shift it and look at more actionable approaches? Hope this was helpful for you. As always, take good care of yourself. Take great care of all of those around you. For all things psychology to help you think, feel, and perform better, stay tuned right here on Psychology of Living. Thank you.